Power Ballad coming up at number 9 on my fantasy playlist. Up 8 from number 17. I think this is the second Power Ballad on, on my fantasy playlist. I had one by Warren. Yes, I, Warren, I saw Red at number 32. These hair metal bands coming up with these Power Ballads to get more airplay on the radio, become even bigger, become mega-selling artists. Winger, come, the, the song is uh, Miles Away by Winger, by the way, at number 9. Winger, man, they kicked some ass. They sure did. Boy, their first album was just went platinum. Their second album went platinum too. First album with Madeline, the powerful vocals of Kip Winger. Man, he just laid it down. Seventeen was another one. That was a mean song, mean record, and headed for heartbreak back in. Around the summer of 1989, all these records I had on my fancy playlist back in the day. And their second album, Can't Get Enough, in the summer of 1990. I was jamming out to that record when they played the video on MTV. Easy Come, Easy Go was off that album. And, of course, the power ballad, uh, Miles Away, off that album by Winger, off their second album. By the time they came out with their third album, Grunge was catching up with them. Grunge sort of sidelining the heavy metal bands, the hair metal bands, for better or for worse. And uh, they were sidelined. But uh, their fifth album, they put out their fifth album around 2008, 2009. It might have been earlier than that. It was called Caramel. I believe it's, I believe it's well, that's what I wrote down on my notes. It was it, That album was hailed as their best album. I mean, this is two decades after their heyday. Kip, Kip Winger was a versatile guy. He played in a band with his brothers, and he learned classical music. He was listening to Debussy and uh, Stravinsky. And he's like, man, this is some great music right here. I want to I wanna learn this music. And he, was, he learned classical music, studied classical music when he was a teenager. And get this. He wrote, well, he sent a demo to Alan Parsons and got a personal reply. He was about 16, 17 years old when that happened. This is going to get a little confusing. I'm going to try to go, try to be as simple as I can about about this part right here. Much later in his career, Kip Winger wrote a classical piece. It was a 30-minute symphonic piece uh, called Ghost, which premiered with the Tucson Symphony Orchestra in 2009. And that and that uh, and that not well. I won't call it a play. That that piece of music was sort of made into a ballet, choreographed into a ballet, which became, which made its premiere with the San Francisco Ballet in 2010. To show you how versatile this guy, I didn't realize he was that versatile until I did some research on Kim Winger. Well, here we are at number nine on my fancy playlist, doing better than it did on Billboard's Hot 100. This song went to number 12 on Billboard's Hot 100. Miles Away by Winger at number nine. 